Hey, Sean Jantz here, and I'm currently inside of a live, uh, right at the money touch bracket trade here on slash RTY small cap futures. I'm short here at 15.39.6, so I can show you the trade right there, 15.39.6. So what I wanna do, I wanna take you through how you can use, how awesome it is to have BTG charts and, um, and to, to know where to enter, but more importantly, having BTG charts for your TPs and your mental stop losses to create really cool risk rewards and, and, and using current day's volatility. Uh, so every single day you have dynamic uh, TP targets. So what I like to do every single night uh, as a BTG member, you're gonna get these charts, which includes these deviation levels. And these deviations are based off of the current day's volatility. And so it's important, you gotta have some sort of volatility component to your trading. If you don't, you're gonna get creamed, right? Because when volatility changes, it, it changes the way the market moves. So we gotta know how far the market can or will move, and that helps us with our TP targets and our mental stop losses. And so I'm short right here at 15.39.6. So what I like to do, I'm gonna show you an example of a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio, but you can obviously skew this to get a better than one-to-one. -one. I'm just gonna show you an example of one-to-one. -one. So what I like to do is I like to use a 0.25 deviation move uh, for mental stop loss to the upside and for a TP target to the downside. So a 0.25 deviation is very simple to calculate. You will notice from plus one to plus 0.5, Okay, you will notice that that is nine points. So a 0.5 deviation move today only, right? Because this changes every day based off of current day's volatility. A 0.5 deviation move is nine points, okay? Now, how far would a 0.25 deviation move? You just divide, uh, so a 0.25 would be what? 4.5, that makes sense? Really simple. And so every day this is dynamic based on, based on the change of volatility. And so obviously if I enter at 15.39.6, a 0.25 deviation move would be 4.5 points to the upside, which would be right there on the red line. A 0.25 deviation move to the downside would be right there on the green line. So now I have a one-to-one -one risk reward. I'll use the red line for a mental stop and I'll use the green line for my TP. Okay, and so let's go ahead and put that in, 15.35.1. Another thing about these touch brackets is there is no time component, right? So we don't need to worry about any expiration. So I can let this go for, um, what's nice about this is I can just set an alert right there at or above. So we'll do, we'll do 15, uh, 43, that way the alert goes off and then I can kind of get ready just in case I need a mental stop. And that way I can put that alert on and now I can go on about my projects I'm doing, right? This is a really cool way to kind of trade, put trades on, set the alerts. You can get the alerts on your phone. Obviously, it, uh, if you look up here, up here, let me show you. These messages right here, this, these will ding really loud and you can change the ding. And that way you can work on other things. You can do your job, whatever you wanna do, get these trades on, work on something else. It's typically what I do. I get these trades on and then obviously I have other projects I'm working on and I'll just wait for the ding or uh, obviously the TP order set. So now there's, no, and, and what's nice about the touch brackets, again, there's no time component like a binary, right? So I don't, I just gotta let it go, whatever happens first. And obviously this is a very technical trade. We're overbought in the bird's eye view. Uh, it's carrot trade time, so it's 10.13 Eastern, so I'm anticipating the carrot. And then I have some pretty good supply right here, right? So I've let this retrace carrot trade time, supply to the left, I, it's not on a, it's not to the tick on a deviation, but we are just above the plus 0.5, okay? So you'll notice the plus 0.5 was right here, but I wanted to wait for that supply right there and I got it. I wasn't sure if we'd get it, but I did. And so I like, obviously we're at that plus 0.5, supply to the left, bird's eye views overbought, and it's carrot trade time. So now I just let this trade go, I can work on other things. And so we're gonna pause this obviously, and then we're gonna come back and we'll recap how this worked out. Quick update, TP order just got filled there at 15.35.1, literally about 20 seconds ago. And uh, so let's go recap, this was pretty awesome. So if you remember, 
My entry was right there. I waited for that supply zone just barely above the plus 0.5. Okay, so this was very, very, very following the four step trading process, very technical. And then notice, I mean, I timed the entry to perfection. And then of course my TP order got filled right there at 15.35.1. And see, so see how I use, this is pretty cool. I kept a one-to-one -one risk reward. I used a, um, so right here, obviously that was a 0.25 for mental, didn't even get close, moved a 0.25 down, took profits. So it's pretty cool. That's why if you get these charts, man, like it's gonna just change everything for you, understanding how to TP, where to TP, uh, you know, you follow the four-step trading process. I knew it was carrot trade time. Like, ugh, this, this stuff is awesome. But you got to get in here. You got to start learning. It's not going to make sense right away, okay? You got to get in here and record yourself trading. Get in that chat room and we'll help you. It takes about three to six to nine months. It's about the average time people tell me it takes before they get that aha moment. But that's why there's demo accounts. You got to be demoing like crazy and really, really learning, getting messy, getting dirty. You're going to have lots of losses, but the more and more losses, you're going to start understanding, oh, I know what I did wrong, blah, 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 right? So message me if you have any questions. You got to get in here. This is pretty awesome.